Sasha von NetbookNews.com. I'm still talking to Jay from the Augmented Reality Division, can I say that, at Qualcomm. And uh, Jay, you're going to show us a little bit about uh, recognition of text? Yes, I am, after I go through another demo failure. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're not going to use that part. So what we have here is what I might see in Korea if I were looking at a menu. And this is actually just done for demonstration purposes. And what I'm going to show you is actually a, a research prototype. But you'll see when I take my device and I point it at the menu, it will actually translate that menu item and superimpose it on the menu itself. And then if I go ahead and touch it, you can see I can actually get a picture of what I'm looking at too. Wow. So I don't know about you, but this would actually keep me from being hungry in, in Korea. Well, I live in Taiwan, you know, I have these problems too. Ah. I, I, I only know the signs for pork and fish and uh, pig, and that's about it. So this could be helpful, and this is actually a technology we're looking to support for multiple languages. So this is a version that's working with Korean, but we're working with others also. And that's you'll see here, fantastic. we're also going and recognizing the number and then going into a <laughs> currency translation, in case you're curious how much you're about to spend for lunch. That's absolutely amazing. Of course, this is a, at a develop or an early beta stage right now. Right? Yeah, I call this pre-beta. This is actually not a commercial form. I, I describe this as an R and D prototype. This is straight from R and D. Very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So Thank here you. we have another cool augmented reality application. This is actually um, the subway map of Tokyo, isn't it? This is. This is actually a snapshot um, of the center of a, of a Tokyo subway map. Okay. And what we have is another R&D uh, concept demo. And you can see that as, as soon as I line this up with one of the stations on the map, and I'll do Tokyo, it recognizes those letters, draws the letters on top so I can see that there's a match, and then puts the name below. And then I can also recognize the vertically oriented stations. Let me go and find a vertically oriented one. Oops, I'm getting lost with my camera. Here now. we go. By turning the device vertically, and you'll see I can, I can recognize that way too. So hopefully this could save some major frustration for <laughs> non-Japanese readers looking for, uh, for Tokyo subway stops. Totally. Very cool. Thank you.